So much talk about gun violence, yet no one talks about one important issue. When we hear talk about gun violence, it's always about people shooting each other and violence being propagated against people and attacks and all of this stuff. And the issue goes back and forth about we need guns to defend ourselves and will guns let you kill people and blah, 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 back and forth. And it's all an important discussion. But you know what I don't hear? The talk about guns and the prevalence of suicide. Nobody really wants to talk about that shit, it seems. We'll talk all day about how guns can kill other people, but no one wants to touch with a ten-foot pole the topic of how easy guns make it for people to kill themselves. Now, this isn't going to be some kind of ban all guns because they let people kill themselves tirade. This is just me putting into a discussion something I feel that is sorely lacking, which is a full perspective. We need to understand that suicide is a complicated and nebulous topic, but there are certain truths to it. One, while planned often, it is often executed spontaneously. When a moment presents itself and a person in a right time of vulnerability and there's an easy way out, they might just take it. Now, this doesn't apply to everybody. Like I said, it's a nebulous and complicated topic. Some people go through methodically, plan it out and execute it all like that, but others have been feeling bad, they think about it, fantasize about it, but suddenly, for my example here, they find a loaded gun, unattended. In that moment of stress and vulnerability, it's not a thing to put that thing to your head and just kill yourself. In that moment, you could just end it. And with other methods of suicide, this is an important distinction, it's not that clean cut very often. It depends, you know, of course there's other answers, and I'm sure people come at me with, well, you could just do this, but that's not the point. The point is that guns are a lot easier than so many other methods, and they are so much less painful, really. Slitting your wrist hurts, it's bloody, it's messy, and it, it makes you fearful, and you think about what you're doing, because you have to put a knife to your skin. You have to cut, it's not instant. Hanging yourselves much the same way. There's an elaborate setup, a process that must happen. All the times necessary to rethink what you're doing. Not so much with a gun. Point, click, you're done. It's really that simple. And that alone might be enough to scare many people out of it, putting the gun to their head, and then they can't do it. And I'm grateful that that happens, but far too often it doesn't. Where people, in their moment of greatest despair and vulnerability, just put the gun to their head and pull the trigger because it is easy. And, again, I'm not trying to say this is some kind of argument that says guns should be banned, but no one talks about this at all. It's been studied where they basically put up anti-suicide barriers around, like, the Golden Gate Bridge, and suicide in total dropped around that area. Not just the Golden Gate Bridge suicides, but all of them. And that's because, at least a lot of people think, and I agree, that if suicide becomes easy enough, people who may not otherwise have taken the option will. If you can prevent them from taking an easy route, that might give them enough time to rethink their situation and come to a different conclusion than ending their lives. And what do you do with this information? I don't know. It's, it adds into the debate. It should be there. I don't know what the conclusion from it should be. I don't know what it should mean, even. But I feel like, by neglecting this topic altogether, one of the most vital pieces of this entire puzzle is just not being used. That guns are a thing with violence, but most importantly, they're a thing with suicide. And I say most importantly because gun violence, like that's in the news is quite rare, actually. Mass shootings at schools, for all they're reported, they're pretty rare. Gun violence, for the most part, has gone down in these last decades, and it's been going down. But suicide rates with guns, well, they're a pretty scary number. They've been going down a little bit, but not nearly like other gun violence. So, as a very simple closing, I just want to encourage everybody to think who is into this gun issue at all, to take a moment to think about this fact and think about how it might affect their opinion one way or the other or at all. Just at least keep it in your mind that this should be a facet of the discussion, that guns do assist in suicide, and as, a, you know, many other things do too. But let's not forget that fact and just how easy guns can make it for people to do this. Just something to think about.